Well, I'm a bit of a idiot, actually, about the, the new world of e-books or <laughs> electronics or cyberspace. I think whatever exists to ensure that people read and read great books and great poems is essential for the continuity of people's lives. Reading is regarded by some foolishly as being elitist. It's the least elitist thing in the world. A book you can buy for $8.99 or $18.99, depending on. So I, I think publishers perhaps would fear it more than I do. I just know that if I have one mission in the world, it is to try and make sure that young people, and even not young people, will continue to read great books. Because if not, a banality, which is already creeping into the world we know, will increase a hundredfold. So I feel lucky to be a writer, uh, to be able to continue to write, and I know most expressly that the few books I read, the few books, not a lot, that I read when I was developing or young, were the most enriching and thing in my whole life. Well, I found a book by T.S. Eliot introducing James Joyce, and it was outside a, book, uh, a stall in Dublin, where in those days life was more trusting in Dublin or anywhere. And the books were outside with a bit of an awning in case it rained. Of course it rained. And I picked up this little book. It would cost fourpence. I actually bought it. I wasn't very well off, but I could get the fourpence. And I read a section of Portrait of the Artist as a young man. And for me, it, I have said this before, but since you asked me, it was a revelation. It was a total revelation on what writing is and could be and should be. And then I read a few more books, and now I read a lot of books. I have so many books in my house that if somebody comes to mend something, there's always need, and they always say to me, a lot of books, have you read them all? And to their dismay, I say, yeah, I, I think I've read most of them. The books are my life and my everything. Because along with reading being, and I'm not even speaking of writing, along with books being um, entertainment and an education and all those words that we use, they're also something so private and so animate and so important between reader and the page. Or in, you've asked me about e-book. I don't know what e-book will look like, to tell you the truth. But that relationship, it's like nothing else. And characters I've read about in books, I mean, characters in novels, Emma Bovary or Anna Karenina or whatever, um, are as... Uh, as constant in my thinking as people I actually know. And that's what writing is. It's, it's a whole world in which we want the whole world to engage in.